Hi, everyone. Welcome to... Aye! Interactive Entertainment's one and only sports talk show. I'm Albert Uzer, along with my broadcast partner, the insufferable Throg. It's a great day for a ball game, wouldn't you say? Throg hates sunlight. Throg want to go back to hell. Today's game is Tony La Russa Baseball 3 from Stormfront Studios. We'll be taking a look at the ins and outs of the game and discussing why you should or should not buy it. Frog says buy Doom. More aliens. More blood. Well, it seems Throg's already made up his mind. As you may recall, the first two Tony La Russa games were published by SSI. Stormfront took over the license and has really reworked the entire game, making it more of a multimedia title. The graphics are now 640 by 480 VGA, and digitized commentary from Tony La Russa himself has included in the CD. Throg not understand rules of baseball. Tell Throg. Well, it's a complicated game, Throg. What specifically didn't you understand? Throg not know how to win. Throg knock out umpire with pitch and still get no points. Well, maybe you should try batting, Throg. Speaking of which, let's take a look at the game's action mode. If you've ever played any baseball game before, you're probably already familiar with the pitcher-batter view shown here. I found this the easiest view to use, but TLB3 offers a few different views and even a couple different graphics resolutions. Where he get club? Hmm, what'd you say, Throg? Man, I played a club. Throg want club. That's a bat, Throg. We already discussed this, remember? Throg want club. Ah! Well, pitching and batting are easy enough. You choose your pitch or swing styles from a menu and time your button presses. Fielding and base running require a bit more dexterity and attention. Use a joystick if you have one. While the arcade play mode is fun, especially with two players, the real meat of La Russa 3 is in its management features such as Meat? Where meat? Throg hungry! <laughs> I was talking about the game, Throg. There's no food here. Although you might find a hot dog vendor somewhere. Throg get meat after review over. Okay, good idea. Say, what do you think of the team management options? It looks like you can do anything a real manager does during a game. Assign pinch and designated hitters, work the bullpen, heck, you can even argue with the umpire. Throg rather kill umpire. Throg no like talk. Well, how about off the field options? You can make roster moves, bring kids up from AAA, make trades. Seems pretty complete to me. Throg like trading. Throg trade for pitcher who hit. Good call. Most pitchers aren't that good at the plate, but... No! Throg want pitcher who can hit batter with ball. Throg like fastball pitcher. Fastball do more damage. Statistical accuracy is important in a baseball game, and TLB3 stats are pretty true to form. You can import old statistics from either Tony La Russa Baseball 2 or from historical data disks from third-party companies. If you like cheating, and who doesn't, you can modify player stats and ratings to create your own dream team. Throg no cheat. Throg use draft to get big pitcher. Another good idea, Throg. The fantasy draft can be done in a number of ways, including the standard round-by-round -round format and the rotisserie format, which lets teams buy computer-generated and real players for different prices. Throg think Doom should have draft. Throg draft Cyber Demon for Throg's team and kill everything more easier! <laughs> yeah, I wonder why I never thought of that. Another way to play La Russa 3 is in the GM Challenge mode, where you take control of a team and guide it years into the future. This is intended as a what-if kind of thing and isn't really supposed to be all that realistic, but it can be fun to see how well you do as a GM. What happened with your team, Throg? Throg's team win World Series in four years. Wow. How'd you do that, Throg? Alter a few stats here and there? No. Throg kill all other players in league with fastball. No teams left to play, Throg team. Well, I don't think you can actually do that in La Russa 3, but injuries and fatigue can alter a player's performance. Players also have special streak ratings, which give them pluses or minuses depending on the time of year. This is one good way to incorporate the intangibles that make some players a little better than others. I like it. Like Sierra's front-page sports baseball, Tony La Russa 3 prides itself on the fact that either the player or the computer can take control of just about any individual aspect of the game, on or off the field. The manager and scouting profile screens are another good example of how Stormfront pays attention to detail. You can use these slider bars to indicate your preferences and how strongly you prefer them, and the computer takes care of the rest. Throg not need computer help. Throg do everything Throg self. That's up to you, Throg, although you may find it easier to... You say computer smarter than Throg? Throg get angry. Hmm, 
hmm, maybe we better hurry this up. Perhaps the slickest feature of La Russa 3 is its rendered stadiums. All 28 Major League ballparks have been beautifully and accurately designed in SVGA and can be viewed from different angles. My jaw dropped wide open when I saw Camden Yards. Throg, you agree? Throg likes stadiums. Throg want to build Throg Dome for new teams. Unfortunately, La Russa 3 doesn't come with a stadium builder, but given the game's history of expansion discs, perhaps we'll see one. Then again? We're just about out of time, so to sum up, I'm impressed with Tony La Russa Baseball 3, especially the management and GM features and the stuff off the field. The action game is okay, but you'll probably find a better one for your SNES or Genesis. Look at this game and Sierra's FPS Baseball before you make a choice. Throg? Throg think game okay too, but need more blood and more weapons. Club and ball boring. Throg hungry. Go now. See you next time, folks.